everyone some sad news, but but I will, I'm hoping I get it back. But so I went shopping at Market Basket and left my backpack that I ran. It's gone. No one has turned it in. I'm hoping someone would. Would bring it back or put it in the lost and found somewhere. I'm still hoping someone would, hoping for a Christmas miracle. But yeah, so, right. Anyway. So, the new Candyman remake. Well, for starters, it was made by Jordan Peele, and I really do love Jordan Peele. He's awesome. He's really, really funny. I love to show Key and Peele when I was growing up. Me and my little sister used to watch it together, and we just loved those two. They go so well together, like peanut butter and jelly. Again, they go well together. I would love to see another movie where they... Well, the two of them are teaming up again. Though Keanu was by far a good one. I do love like how they played themselves as the villains. or They played the heroes and the villains. Which is really weird. And I say cool. So Candyman. Ooh, all new before I see an alternate ending. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil that, so no. I do have some problems with the movies, but as a characters, they were all really good. The characters are really, they're not, they don't have like cringy dialogue, but they're not poor actors. I would definitely say I'm impressed. Just like with Get Out and Us, he did a good job of this. Yeah, and my problem is the R rating. It doesn't deserve an R rating. If anything, it looks like the people are trying to make it a, trying to make it PG thirteen. Why? I don't know. Most of kills are off screen, and they weren't as gory as you would think it would be in the remake. Did they just want it to be PG thirteen and just make it PG thirteen? Why slap an R rating on it? <sighs> So in this one we got yet another story of well, Candyman. And it kinda seems like it's the same story as um the movie Darkness Falls. Well in that one we have the two fairy, Matilda. Basically she was born of a condition where she was sensitive to the light and well. Mm. She had a she has a condition where well. Yeah, we. she can't be in the sun, otherwise she'll burn. Some kids went missing, they immediately blamed her, saying she's a witch and did horrible things to them. So basically, they just let her burn in the sun, and she dies. She comes back as a ghost, collecting people's teeth and death and giving them coins, and if you see her, she has to kill you. But it turns out Matilda wasn't. Yeah, the kids were completely fine. And that's pretty much the story here. So we got some guy giving candy to trick-or-treaters and someone put razor blades in them and they blamed him saying he's the one that did it. And they killed him. And he came back as the candy man. And then I revealed that, ooh, it was the wrong person. Yeah. I do like how Candyman is now basically a, kind of like the Punisher, does horrible things to bad people. I mean, I like it. Though in the original, he was basically, yeah, a slave fall in love with someone. And people didn't like that, especially she had a child and they cut his hand off, put a hook on it, 
Cover him in honey and have him be stung to death. At least this came in doesn't have didn't have to have bees in his mouth like the original did. Then yeah, you can just use CGI for the bees and the remake. I would say it's a good remake. I mean, well, I mean, it's a it's a remake about a legend and. A lot of these legend movies, you can just change the origin story of each legend. So, I'm not too mad about continuity being changed, but though I did, I am a little bit upset that apparently from what hard candy woman was going to be in that, the female from the first movie, she became Candy Woman and never showed up again. She was supposed to show up in this movie and well kill people, but. Yeah, she never shows up. But it's a good movie. Alright, bye.